here I am in uh, Hibbing, Minnesota in the USA on Bob Dylan Drive where Bob Dylan uh, grew up from the age of six to about 18 years old. The reason why he's on the metal voice today, it's not because, you know, he, he is a folk artist. He's not metal per se, but at the same time, he's got, I think it's something like 600 musicians from all genres have covered his music. Something like 145 million albums sold, 10 Grammys. We're gonna see his house uh, where he spent his young childhood and older adult, younger adulthood. So here it is. He is a Pulitzer Prize winner, a Nobel Prize winner as well in literature. And we'll see that right after this clip. We're gonna to go to his high school where they erected, uh, erected a nice beautiful wall in a celebration of his, uh, his prizes. I did take a tour of this house yesterday with a wonderful man named Bill. He gave me the tour. We went inside. You're not allowed to shoot inside. And Bill, he also owns not only this house, but he also owns the house in Duluth where he was born in. Bob Dylan was born in Duluth as Robert Zimmerman. And here's the back. On the back side of the house. A lot of the house has been restored and then some missing pieces have been put in. It's a beautiful little house. It really transports you. And this is the original sort of uh, railing they had. There's a car inside back in the 1950s, a TV set, a telephone back in the 1950s, early 60s. And that's where Bob uh, used to sort of swing on his mother's clothesline. Again, um, so many bands in every genre of music from uh, Rage Against the Machine to Guns N' Roses and Knocking on Heaven's Door to one of my favorite versions of Knocking Off Heaven's Door, Heaven, uh, and of course the ultimate All Along the Watchtower by Jimi Hendrix. Not only has the pop world, the metal world, the rock world have sort of covered Bob's music, but the folk world, you know, he's a huge folk hero in uh, civil rights, as well as, you know, uh, a leader in the anti-war movement as well. So there you have it, Hibbing, Minnesota, USA, Bob Dylan's home from 1948 to 1959. He still comes back here once in a while. And you could take a tour and you go through the upstairs, the downstairs and the basement, and you can see little inscriptions of Bob. There's pictures by the family. So he didn't really want a video of inside the house because of course out of respect for the family's contributions there's Bob's Robert uh, Bob Dylan's record collection as well so now I'm gonna fast forward to where the next clips gonna be at his high school and the wall that was sort of put up for Bob Dylan here we are at uh, Hibbing High School where uh, instead of a statue they erected a, uh, a wall uh, basically to Bob Dylan for the Nobel Peace Prize in Literature in 2016. And there you go, there you have it. This is a big thing in this little town. And here's the wall with his lyrics. Is that cool? So there he is. I'm not sure what this chair means, what the significance is. Oh, it's a Bob Dylan. It says, learned all in grammar school, Bob Dylan Noble lecture, December 2016. So there you go, at Hibbing High School in Hibbing, Minnesota.